Capital One Financial Corporation could end up in Sioux Falls. South Dakota Governor Dennis Dugard and U.S. Congress members say 400 new jobs may be coming to the area, and they say that'll double its workforce the following year. The Governor's Office of Economic Development offered Capital One a $200,000 grant to help train workers. Last week, TransCanada was told to redirect its oil pipeline running through Nebraska. The state's officials say a rerouting agreement will help avoid possible legal conflicts. The dispute returns to the U.S. State Department if the two don't agree on a precise route. The issues gain national attention because the pipeline would cross part of the Ogallala Aquifer. It supplies water to eight states. Yesterday, hundreds of police officers raided Occupy Wall Street. It started around 1 a.m. Zuccotti Park was the base for the protest and it was empty before dawn. New York City workers hauled camping gear to the dump and power wash the Stone Plaza. Mayor Michael Bloomberg says the park's open to free speech, but not tent cities. And those are today's headlines.